we're going to go on to a little metallurgy in the core centers. I've got a couple of little drawings here. This core, these are like T-top core centers for your coils. Okay, this one's made out of 1018 cold finished steel. Okay, this one I can't give you the specs on because that's part of my secret. We'll just call it the right stuff. Okay, now what happens? with 1018 because of its carbon structure every time your machine lights up and that core becomes magnetic because it's 1018 it cannot get rid of all of its magnetic flux fast enough for the second stroke and the third stroke so what happens is is you end up with residual flux left behind after every stroke okay now this is usually happens in a shader because you use a shader for sometimes you know well, I've used one in a guy's ribs for 14 hours at one time but nevertheless most of us will use a shader for you know two three four hours okay and at hour three and four it seems like the shader is getting lazy it's not that it doesn't want to punch it just doesn't want to retrieve back to contact and the reason that being is is that every time this core is lit and turned into a magnet into a magnet between strokes it can't bleed off this magnetic energy that it is storing so every time it strokes it keeps filling and filling and filling and filling till you end up with at a four hours you have a semi permanent magnet now you can throw this over on the bench at the end of the day on Saturday and when you come in on Monday it'll work just like it did because this will bleed off over time but not while it's being used this the right stuff for a core is when it's when you light this up when this core when this core center is hot not HOT but it's lit up it is a magnet what happens with the right stuff it instantly becomes a magnet and never retains any magnetic flux so every stroke is exactly has the same power and your rear spring can pull it away from the top of your core center which that way it does you can work for it for 10 hours straight and it will not get lazy 1018 you shouldn't even say the word 1018 around a tattoo machine. 1018 should be kept as far away from a tattoo machine as possible. 1018 is too high of a carbon steel. These, this type of steel has to be of a low carbon nature. I can't give you the numbers because that's part of my trade secret of why my machines will run day in and day out and never change their attitude. Okay, does that make sense? All right.